Hello, Beauty News family. Welcome to Beauty oh. News Vlogmas, basically. Yes, that's so, true. <laughs> I'm thinking we've got a couple of things to address. So we are doing uh, one video each weekday in the le- oh in cre- in December in Christmas. Yep. Fuck. Guys. Well, you do consider December day. Christmas. I so do. I do. In Christmas, Look, I consider five videos a week. November and December Christmas. That's uh, true. But that's just me because I'm a nutbag. Uh, but we are doing one video each weekday in December. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. But today we are starting our holiday beauty news episodes. So yes. if you're new around here and you haven't seen one of these before, essentially what we do is we recap on everything that we know of um, that's releasing for holiday, the holiday yes. season. Now, this is not going to be the, like, it's going to be pretty comprehensive, but it's yep. not going to be the most con- comprehensive video on holidays, holiday releases, because there are literally tens or hundreds of thousands of brands out there makeup brands yeah and we don't know it all no we physically would not be able to It'd be a 10-part video and we're not doing that we're not doing that that's too much suicide we're not so... that extra <laughs> yeah so we're going to just talk about stuff that we've already spoken about in beauty news episodes and a couple of other things sort of like a summary Yes. Of a brief summary of holiday releases for 2018. If there are brands that you know of that we haven't covered and you're really excited for their releases, see this as being a discussion opportunity in the comments down below. Be respectful, be nice, but comment things that you are also interested in that's coming out for the holiday season and um, see it as a community thing. Yes. Yes. Um, I also want to point out that some products may have been released in the holiday season, mm. but aren't holiday collections. Yeah. So there are a lot that we talk about on weekly episodes that we aren't talking about now, even though they are releasing around this time, because they're not technically the brand's holiday, holiday collection. collection. Yes. It's complicated. It is. Another complicated thing is today we will be doing brands from A to K. And tomorrow we'll be doing L to Z. Correct. Last year it was L to YSL, but oh. this year oh, we've got Zoeva. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. All right. So for Anastasia Beverly Hills, they've released stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, nothing particularly Christmassy except for one lip pack. Yes. So there was a metallic liquid lipstick set that was quite Christmassy. There was also a lip gloss set. There was also the sultry palette. Yes. Which we bought on yes. Black Friday. We did. We did. Because it was on sale. Yeah. Um, and then they've also got loose glitters. Yes. So six loose glitters and I believe a glitter glue. So yeah. Riveting. Fucking mind blowing. Yeah. All right. Bare Minerals, a brand that we quite like. Uh, they brought out the Aurora Lights Gen Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Now, for a Gen Nude Eyeshadow Palette, this is quite colorful, mm. quite cool toned. It's not super colorful. Don't get too excited. Uh, but if you do like uh, Bare Minerals formula, which we do, we both bought this. We did. We did. Um, they also brought out the Dream Lights. This is sort of like your stick eyeshadows thing. Uh, there's a trio, there's a mascara duo, and there are so many lip sets. Uh, this is so confusing. Um, they've got so many nude packs because they've gone ham with their Gen Nude in the last few years. Yeah. Prior to that, they actually had color. They did. They yes. did. Uh, then they pulled it all back to work on their nudes. Um, so there are six-piece sets, three-piece lip sets, um, vaults with mini just nude lip products, glosses, liquid lipsticks, bullet lipsticks. There are brush sets. There are there are lip duos as well if you wanted those. Uh, they've got Northern Lights Gen Nude and Cheek Palettes. So these are mini sort of like travel sort of palettes. Not quite travel because they've got glittery bits in the top. They do. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't call that travel friendly, but it contains a blush and two sort of nude eyeshadows. The Ignite Light Pack, which has a Lash Domination Mascara, Lash Domination uh, Liquid Liner, and also a well-rested uh, eye brightener. Uh, and then they had the Twilight Radiance palette. This is a three p- 
pan palette of highlighters um, and it contains three buttery smooth gel to cream to powder highlighters. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. That's doing a lot. It's expecting a bit, isn't it? Is. it? So there's that. Uh, and also like a skincare pack. Packs. Packs. So Becca released some packs. Um, they've got like a little highlighter in an ornament and they've got a stack of mini colorful highlighters um then they've got packs of just stuff it's like mainly highlighter and lip gloss packs yes yeah they've also got the chrissy teigen collection which yeah. i guess they're considering sort of holiday yeah um yeah it's mm. it's packs and stuff it's lip glosses and highlighters yeah. essentially it's not super riveting by beauty they have uh every year they've been bringing out the little amuse amuse bouche lipsticks mm-hmm. and this year they did not disappoint they did also bring them out um these are re-promoted shades that they've had in previous packs. yeah they also did some other packs as well it's look the you, season for packs. Yeah. Do you consider the astrology pack as a holiday pack or is it just end of year? I think it's just end of year. It's hard, isn't it? It is. Mm. It is. Another one that is very pack full is Benefit. And again, I think people are very familiar with what Benefit do at this time of year. They they take like hero products or popular products and they put them in um, special packaging. Yes, so they have like value packs and they always have like an eye related one, a skincare related yeah. one, brows, or just brows yeah. or like a favorite sort of one. Um, and it ranges from full size products to mini products of their hero products. Yeah. Nothing here is limited edition. No, no. Um, nothing is new, but the packaging each year is new. And this year, the design is like tins. Of like a tiered cake, yeah, which I really like. I like it too. Um, I think it's cool. I'm so tempted to buy one of these because yeah. in the last few years I've had benefit holiday packs. Yeah, it's sort of like a tradition where like one I keep coffee pods in, one I keep like that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so these are reusable tins, but yeah, you there's know. one that looks like a snow globe as well, yeah, which is kind of cool. So you know, if you like benefit, if you like to get some minis um, for travel throughout the year and stuff like that. They're always good to pick up and you get a really cool collector's tin to keep them in. Yeah, that's true. And it's more about value. It is, yeah. All right, Bobby Brown, we have seen a few things. Um, they've got limited edition highlighter sort of duo products. Mm-hmm. Um, so these are like, not their brick highlighters, but you'll see them on the screen. Yeah. Um, and they've got their, their duos. Uh, they also have a bunch of lip packs. They've got a mini lipstick vault. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are their luxe lipsticks, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Um, yeah. And then they've got like a brush set in a nice case. They have a few palettes, kind of yawn fans. Yeah. Um, and they've got mini packs as well, as well as two eyeshadow palettes that are sort of nude and sort of cool toned. Yeah. Um, nothing super riveting, but it is limited edition packaging. Um, and if you like Bobby Brown, there is, once again, slight value in there. Yeah, yeah. They, mm. again, they also took some of their, like, old school products, put them in packs, so you can buy them in bundles if you want to. Yeah. By Terry, they released the Brightening CC Serum um, in Gem Glow. I, I'm sure they do this every year. But Yeah. Yeah. They also released the Ombre Black Star set, which is a three-piece set of their Black Star, um, like crayon eyeshadow type things, and a, a trio compact in Gem Glow. It's just a bloody highlighter. Yeah, it's a highlighter. Um, the Black Star set is the same shades from the last year set. Right. They also have the CC Serum set, which are mini of the that large one, but different shades three of them minis they've got favorite sets um they have their lip balm in like a little ornament um they've got you know tree decorations it is what it is just stuff in packs chanel they have a lipstick palette so it is a five pan very red very vampy very festive they also have um one of their highlighters with a lion on it. Yeah. I still love that. Um, there's also nail polishes, lipsticks, there's um, eyeshadow pots and single eyeshadows as well. 
it's it's kind of festive with the red. Mm -hmm. The rest is kind of not festive. That's fair. Mm. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury have the advent calendar. Yeah. Massive advent, advent calendar that uh, contains sort of like half makeup, half skincare. Um, and that's about it that we've seen so far with them. They do, they did release a few things around this time. Yeah. But I don't but know if they're holiday related. They don't, they don't specify. specify. Yeah. 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 And I think sometimes they do do packs, but I don't, I don't know. Mm. I feel like the only holiday thing we've definitely seen is the advent calendar. Yeah. And that's another thing we need to realize is that like we're filming this right at the end of November. Mm. Um, so of course there are going to be some brands that release more holiday stuff or announce their holiday stuff throughout, throughout December. December. Yeah. Christian Louboutin did release some really pretty gold uh, products for Christmas. So they have a lip gloss. There was also an eyeliner and a mascara. And a nail polish. And a nail polish. Mm, very, I want very, it all. Yeah, very good. I gold. want it all. I do love it. Okay, so Ciate released pretty much one product for the holidays as far as I could see. Mm. Oh no, two. They have um, the Glitter Storm eyeshadow palette, which contains some mattes, some shimmers, and a new glitter formula that remind me a lot of the MAC Shiny Pretty Things yes. eyeshadows. Yep. Um, and they also had a mini set of glitter flip liquid lipsticks. Yes, they so, did. They also had the Mini Manny Month. That's right. Yeah, and usually in the last two years, they'd also released a snow globe with some cute, like, nail or lip products in it. They didn't release it this year. Yeah, at least we didn't see it. No. But um, if you do like nail polishes, check out their advent calendar because yes, it looks pretty cool. definitely. From another one of the big brands, Clarins, we have so many packs. Now, if you want... Skincare with a perfume, makeup with a perfume. They've got packs for you. They've got skincare packs, makeup packs, lip packs. They've got packs. Every year, Clarins do great packs. So if you like Clarins, now's a good time to pick up a pack. Can I say they got stacks of packs? <laughs> packs. Oh, shit. You're welcome. I love it. Clinique. So they did release um, a blush palette, a three pan blush palette. But also packs. Heaps of packs. Packs galore. Like, Clinique, I don't know about the rest of the world, but in Australia, Clinique are just pack nuts. Yeah. I do want to say, though, that blush palette didn't come to Australia. It didn't. Okay, ColourPop, uh, they released a collection only recently. This is not a dream holiday collection. Um, we have quite a few things in here. There's like a lip vault, so you can buy it as a vault or you can buy it individually. Um, there are a lippy stick uh, six, pan, six piece pack, uh, an eyeshadow palette, double rainbow super shock shadow six piece set. You can buy them individually as well. Makeup bag, highlighter palette, um, new, what are these Je called? Jelly Match. That's right. Jelly yep. Match and also Glitterly Obsessed yes. glitters. So there was like nine of each, I believe, mm -hmm. or eight and nine because right. okay. they like to make it complicated. Yes. But you can see them all on the screen. That's been released. Colourpop are notorious for releasing different stages of holiday yep. collections. So right now we've seen this. We've also seen recently a vault, which I don't know is, if it's holiday, um, but I'm sure there's more to come for ColourPop. Dose of Colours, uh, they did release a holiday palette. This is a limited edition five pan palette called Snow Angels. It's got pinks, it's got berries, it's got like a vibrant blue and then like a navy blue. Uh, so that is limited edition. There's also two lip packs. These contain mini lip products. One is a lip gloss pack, one is a liquid lipstick pack. They both contain sort of four nude shades in them. Uh, they also released a permanent product uh, in this pack, in this release, the Pretty Cool Eyeshadow Palette. These are cool toned browns. They also released a vault that contains five of their permanent five pan eyeshadow palettes. So uh, you can see them there. There's like um, sort of a nude, a mauve one. We've seen them, including the Pretty Cool Palette. Uh, this does not contain the Snow Angels because that is limited edition. This vault is for the permanent palettes. So there is that. Etude House have a very cute and festive collection. 
This is the Twinkle Holiday Collection. The Tiny Twinkle. Tiny Twinkle Holiday Collection, sorry. And it consists of eyeshadow palettes, liquid eyeshadows. I believe there were lip products. They did do some skincare packs as well. Um, yeah, so a lot of trios. A lot of trios, some bath bombs. Very, very cute little collection. And they really have like sort of... They've gone all out with the festive packaging, which That's is true. nice. That's that is cute. nice. All right, let's skim over Fenty really quickly. Um, this has been out for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a highlighter slash eyeshadow palette. This is a multi-use shimmery palette. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a lot of packs. So once again, you've got tree ornaments. You have the Mademoiselle 10 out of 10 this is their new shades, um, and you can only buy them in a vault. Frosted metal lipsticks. These are actually nice. These you could buy in three packs. I swatched these in store. They're actually pretty nice. Oh, okay. Um, and yeah, once again, you can see matchstick by the dozen. Uh, new sort of pot shimmer products, so eyeshadow face products. They also had metallic crayon sets, so they're like three pieces. They come in three different shades. Um, they just had... A lot of stuff that was very, very metallic mm. and frosty and in value packs. Yeah. All sort of sold in bundles. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you had to be quite dedicated to the cause to buy these. Yeah. You needed to uh, be in the market for a lot. That's true. Yeah. All right. Hourglass brought out two palettes, so mm. face palettes. Um, these came out, once again, much earlier on. So there's the um, Ambient Lighting Edit number four, was it? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. the Unlocked, which is a new one. Yes. Uh, this year, their holiday collection is vegan. So if you were interested in trying Hourglass, but you weren't sure about... Because they they've were they been cruelty-free the whole time, mm. but a lot of products weren't vegan. This whole range is vegan. There's also the Confession Lipsticks in a duo and a trio and they've got limited edition um sort of metallic pink components yeah got them all got them tick that off huda uh so we've got lip tins from huda she did these last year and she's got two new ones this year one is red with an iridescent finish and one is red and sparkly and they contain uh two mini lip products and a lip liner yeah, and one was Selfridges exclusive and one was Sephora exclusive. Uh, more recently, she is also uh, is releasing, she hasn't released them as of filming this, um, they're sort of new lipsticks that are metallic lipsticks. So one is pink, one is purple, one is sort of like a reddy brown. Yeah. Um, and that's, I think there's more to come from Huda. Um, that is just the sort of tip of the iceberg. Tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Look, to be fair, she doesn't do a big holiday collection, but no. I do recall she brings out like maybe a highlighter palette, yeah. um, a few a few things in a collection. I think it was like a lip gloss vault last year or yeah. a pack. So, you know, more to come, yeah. I think. We should expect a little bit more from Huda. It Cosmetics. Uh, so we had the It Girl Volume 2 Makeup Palette. So this is just a an eyeshadow palette with 12 eyeshadow shades and then a big blush blush in the middle. And then they did packs. Yeah. So there was some skincare packs, makeup packs, brush packs. I think skincare packs were the most Yeah, they were mainly Yeah, they were mainly skincare packs and there were a couple of brush packs that if you're looking at value, the brush they packs were, were pretty damn good. Yeah. So that's what I would suggest getting from It Cosmetics. Yes. Um, Jeffree Star released, uh, did he even call it the Alien Collection or was it just a holiday collection? Oh, I don't actually know. <laughs> so he released Alien Palette. Yes. So it's a new eyeshadow palette that we saw. And also he released uh, a bunch of lip products. So there were eight liquid lipsticks. You can see the shades on the screen now. And there were also four... Um, bullet lipsticks, so his ammunition lipsticks, but this was a different formula where it was sort of um, had a bit of a sheen to it, a bit of a shimmer. He's done that before, but these were a little bit, I think, translucent. They're designed to be either lipsticks themselves or toppers. Right. Um, along with, I think there were four, yeah, lip scrubs um, and also a white iridescent makeup bag. So that was the Jeffree Star Holiday Collection. 
from Jouer, they released the Magic Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette gift set. So this is a 12 pan metallic finish eyeshadow palette with a sparkly eyeshadow topper yep, thingy. That's true. There was also, can't remember, the Rose Gold Collection set. This is a four piece, no, three piece set, sorry, of deluxe minis. It contains a highlighter, a uh, liquid lipstick and a lip topper there's also a four piece eye brush set with a bag yes and a lucky and luminous cream highlighter palette now i'm going to say i don't like cream highlighters but the They're shades in this colors, are pretty colors aren't they pretty yeah, yeah they I are don't pretty colors it. they've also got the get charmed best of gift set mm -hmm. so this lip gift set sorry this contains uh seven mini liquid lip products um, so they've got the matte liquid lipsticks, they've got the toppers, and also a gloss. Mm -hmm. And you can see the oh, shades the colours are pretty. Oh, I want Karma. I know. And Lucky Street. Don't. I want them all. Don't Damn hate it. it. Damn it. <laughs> uh, they've got the Lucky in Love Lip Cream and Lip Topper gift set. So this is like a um, Christmas cracker mm -hmm. with two full-size uh, cream liquid lipstick and also a topper. I think these are new shades. Maybe not. I, I like them. They're nice. They are nice, aren't they? Damn it. Fuck. I thought stop, I stopped buying stop stuff. Stop looking. Stop looking. Fuck these episodes. I know. <laughs> stop enabling me. There's also the Lucky and Charmed Lip Care Essentials gift set. So again, this is a lip cracker and it contains two lip care products, a lip balm and a lip scrub. Okay, Kat Von D. Oh my god, oh. this is fun. They brought out the fetish collection that mm. went down like a fucking house of bricks yeah like a fucking a brick a brick shit house, shit house. <laughs> that is you don't know what that that's very aussie yeah it's very aussie We're, yeah brick yeah. shit house brick uh, shit house so this is was an outdoor toilet made out of bricks mm -hmm. and it's a this is a brick shit house it is um you have to say it like shit house shit out not shit house no no shit out shit house um this is a fetish collection there is an eyeshadow palette and also a blush and highlighter palette um it's very grey. Not the blush and highlighter palette. The eyeshadow no. palette. The blush and highlighter palette's pretty. I actually swatched I... this in store. Very glittery though. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I actually like the colours in the blush Yeah, palette. I like it too. Um, But yeah, I just I couldn't get behind this. No. There's also a four-piece uh, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick pack. Mm -hmm. uh, three of them are bestsellers plus a black limited edition shade with glitter in it. Yeah. You don't need it. You don't no. want it. Moving on. From Kevin Aquan, we have the Nude Pop Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette that is really pretty. I think it's pretty too. Yeah, I might buy it. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone delirious, all right? You don't understand. I forgot about it because I wasn't looking and now I've had to look at it several times today and... I want it. I do love mauves. So do I. It's beautiful. It's greyish, it's mauve, and then you've got your complementary colours with like a, a dark berry, a gold, and a pink in a metallic finish. Mm, I like it very much. Thank you. And then we've got the Nude Pop Molten Lip Colour Collection. This is a five-piece mini uh, lip product pack. Yeah. Uh, and it comes in different finishes. Yeah, like... metal, gem, matte, and top coat. Yeah. Uh, can I point out though, mm. the they... palette, they're not limited edition. Yes, yeah, so they yeah. came out of holidays, but they're not limited edition. Yeah. So you don't have to rush, Hayley. I won't. I don't feel like I'm under such pressure now. Good. Oh. Awesome. All right, Kiko. Mm. So Kiko, I think this was quite well received because they have these beautiful highlighters with beautiful packaging yeah and the formula of these highlighters and also the eyeshadows in these metallic sort of formulas are very well known from kiko they're some of their most popular products yeah they've got everything they've got everything from, they do i don't my, know my actual goodness yeah face Nail powders polishes yeah, yeah highlighters blushes like a serum primer blushes lip products pencils lip glosses liquid lipsticks lipsticks in bullets eyeshadow palettes yep. like um they've got cole kajal eyeliners um i they got everything my god it's it's everything it's a lot i do want to say though that a lot of people were saying and i was not super familiar with their last year's holiday collection mm -hmm. 
but a lot of people are saying that this is very, very similar. So oh, if you're okay. big into buying Kiko, a lot of people did not like this. Oh, I see. Yeah, That's which fair. Is I fair. respect that. I, yeah. yeah, I don't like... I complain about that all the time. Yes, Every it's year. <laughs> it's been. Yeah. All right. KKW released um, a sort of pack or a mm. vault or a... So the KKW Glam Bible Smoky Volume 1 <gasps> pack. It's going to be more. I know. I know. Volume one implies there's going to be a lot of volumes of this. Oh, God. Uh, but it's pretty much out. just a pack that has a six pan eyeshadow palette, a mascara, lashes, blush, highlighter, two lipsticks, a lip gloss, a lip liner, an eyeliner for 150 US dollars. So you don't, you can't buy this individually. It's one, one, it's all or nothing. Yes. With KKW. Yeah. It's a big pack. It's a big pack. What has Kylie done? Oh, Kylie has a huge holiday collection as per usual. So you could buy the whole thing in a pack. In a pack. Bloody hell. Uh, or you could buy things individually. There was eyeshadows, lipsticks, or eyeshadows, liquid lipsticks. Lip packs? Lip packs. There's metallic liquid lipsticks. There was also highlighters, pressed highlighters. Um, and were there loose highlighters? Or yeah, there were there? loose yeah. highlighters. There were cream eyeshadows. There was a blush. There was a illuminating powder. There was That's a right. Pressed yeah. highlighter. Yeah. There was everything. Everything. You can see him on the screen. Yeah. It was, there was, it was a lot. There. Of, it was there. Look, I reckon Kylie might like Christmas too. Yeah, I think she likes money. <laughs> I like money too. Look, <laughs> we're basically the same person. I am Kylie. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am Kylie. I'm old Jenner. enough to be a mum, but I yeah, am. I yeah, am I know. That's that's actually pretty scary. It's actually true as well. Fuck mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. All right, guys. So that is it for A to K of what we selected to discuss. These are a lot of things that we've discussed in the past. We know that there's stuff that we've missed. We know. We know. We know. We, we know. can't think of what it is. We have sat here and done the stressful um, data. Like, we do this every year, these videos. <laughs> they always stress us out because we always forget stuff and we feel bad. So this year we are relying on you to get down in those comments and let us know which brands we didn't talk about in Ada K section of the beauty world and let us know what they're releasing that you are super excited about. Yeah, or what you picked up. I'd yeah. love to know what you bought, what you think of it. Was yeah. it good? Do you enjoy it? Yeah. Mm. Tell us down below. And come back tomorrow for, for L to Z. Yes. Or Z. Z. In the US. Look. Z. It's, it's fine. Deal with it. <laughs> All right. We'll see All you right, tomorrow, guys. guys. Bye. Bye.